Hello, I'm Giles Deacon. Thank you for joining us today for the Hospital Rooms Digital Art School here at my studio in London, which is a little bit noisy, as you may hear some traffic, so um, bear with us if a motorbike zooms past. I will continue to chat through it. Uh, for today's masterclass, I thought it would be fun to explore the world of print and pattern. Two things I hold very dearly to my um, artistic world and practice. Um, I use both an awful lot in my designs and we design them all in-house as well. So I'm going to show you how to draw a, a, a simple print and to put it into a repeat, which a repeat you can use for wallpaper, book coverings, posters, laminate it, gift it, do what you would like with it. And the elements that I've chosen, and you're going to choose your own, um, from a mix of, of, of areas such as an apple or whatever, a feather, something from the imagination, an image from a postcard or a magazine. Um, I've chosen today though um, a feather, an old drawing of some lilies, a bracelet that we made a long time ago and a fabric that was designed in-house a while ago with a really nice floral on it. So I'm going to incorporate all of these elements and something from the mind, the imagination, um, into, a, into a repeat. So the first step is to decide upon your size of uh, paper. I'm going to use A3 for this one and I'm going to use a pencil. You can use a felt tip pen, you can use paint, gouache, but I think to begin with it's good to use a, a pencil or, or a pen. Now the thing to remember is that you can do whatever you want, have fun with it and don't be too precious. We all make mistakes, no drawing is perfect, this is all about having a go and having a good time with it, but don't draw over the outside edges and that will become clear as to why. So start in the middle, or thereabouts. I've just guessed where that middle is. And start drawing away with whatever element that you've got in, in hand as your first piece. I'm going to draw the centre of a flower. Oh, I love the mix of nature and man-made elements together in, in, in images. I think they, they really work and, and oscillate off each other, which is always makes for an interesting end result. So I'm going to draw relatively quickly today for the exercise, but you can take as long as you like and be much more detailed than I am here. Uh, and some people really like to do incredibly intricate drawings. Some people like to be really quick and loose. So I'm going to do something relatively quick and loose. So let's, we've got the centre of the flower done here. Let's get some kind of swirly looking essences of leaves. And again, you know, you don't have to copy the item. It's just get the essence of it down. These are about making a, a personal pattern something that, that has some meaning as well, I think is always nice as well. That's why the choosing of the elements is, is, you know, is fun and important. I love drawing um, and draw most days and uh, I find it really relaxing, I find it very meditative and I love the fact that even just from sitting, drawing away for 20 minutes of a day, you have something there to keep and to look at. And, do keep your drawings as well, because even if at the time you think, oh my God, I can't bear it, it looks awful, you will go back to them and look at them. And some days you might think, actually, do you know what? It's actually quite good, that one. Or there was a little bit of it was something that you could then use for another drawing. So we've got this flower here. There we go. So there's the flower. So in all its floral glory, as I say, you could, if you want to go into much more detail, you can really do that, make it much more ornate and intricate. So I'm now going to draw some abstract swirls of sorts, some Rococo swirls, which can come through 
all the way around the flower and right down to the bottom, giving this sense of movement. I want this to be a kind of quite loose, expressive looking drawing. So um, I'm going to put some, some detailing on here, some kind of be little sort of leaf type elements. Something quick on there. A little swirl to a little flower there. I might put a little character on here. Here's a little character from this bracelet. Let's put a little person here. Put a little Mohican on that person. You can be sat wearing a nice fancy dress. Again, very quick. They don't have to be super realistic, but just kind of give a, a little essence of somebody. I love drawings with character, so I think if you can get, if you've got some characters that you want to draw, friends that you draw, you can put them in it. Why don't we put this person on a cloud? They can be on there. And then let's get another element. Let's draw a face up here so we can have a face with a lip and then let's have a little chin down there and a big bow maybe and then hair all coming over there and then let's go down to another abstract shape and you can draw round objects if you want if you're not confident that your drawing is good enough, you can absolutely do that. Draw around a, a, a bottom of a glass and then draw in patterns around that. And then maybe let's put an element that we've forgotten about, that easily done, a feather. Ooh, big feather, let's do feather large. There's feather. Cutting across here. So this is going to be a drawing that's kind of overlaid. Which could be quite nice. Again, I could probably spend a bit more time on the precise detail of this, but you'll get the idea of where we're running with this. Still not drawn over the edges, been conscious of that. Put some clouds in here again. Always been accused of having my head in the clouds, but that's the way it goes. A little, maybe a face in the clouds as well. I think that could be quite good fun. With some eyelashes. A little earring. A little swirl of hair. Looks a bit like a caterpillar, that now. So it's always good to see where these things can go. And we're getting close now to turning this into a repeat. This is the fun bit. Um, so what to do with that? Right, here's the drawing. Let's turn it into a repeat. This is really easy and it's fun. Fold the drawing in half. If you've got a ruler, great. If not, don't worry. Now tear the drawing in half. It doesn't matter if it's a bit rough. These are going to be all drawn by hand and to have a nice non-digital feel to them. Put the two outside edges together. Get some clear tape or colored tape or whatever you want to do and just put the tape at the ends like that like that turn the drawing over and just put a little bit of tape about a quarter of the way down from the top and a quarter of the way down from the bottom turn back over turn landscape Fold over again, 
fold and repeat the tear process. I think you can get a guess of how this is going to work now. Tear through, there we go. There's that bit done, and then that bit. Uh, uh, uh. Put the two outside edges together again. There we go. Get some more tape. There we go, tape on there, and then tape back down on there. Oh. There we go, and then we can just put tape on the back, tape it all together. And here we will have, as if by magic, the repeat to work with. Now, we've still got some spaces left, so fill those in. Don't go over the borders again. Um, using elements or new ones that you want to use, I'm going to just draw some abstract shapes here, some, some concentric circles, some clouds, some lightning, some... You put in whatever you want. I'm just going to give some... Fill in some, some atmosphere, really, to, um, to just to fill out this, this drawing. And this is a great time if you want to add colour. You could do that as well. You could paint in elements, colour them in with crayons, pencils, whatever you've got to hand. And and this is the, the new centre here. So I'm going to put a good little bit of detailing of that there. And this is a good way of of, of just sort of kind of beefing out the drawing really. And it looks, you'll get a good idea of what's happening now, that how this is going to be turned into a repeat. So I can see the head here and the body from the person that I drew earlier on that cloud. So I say, you can fill that in as, as much as you like, but there you go. That is, in essence, the tile which will be photocopied, scanned in and printed out, which will turn into your wall covering, wrapping paper, wallpaper, gifting paper, you name it, whatever you want to use it as. So happy drawing and have some fun and um, happy pattern making.